Servus guys and welcome to another tutorial of mine. Today I'm showing you how to use, yeah, how to build up the basic Applied Energistics 2 system and uh, how to autocraft uh, or how to automate the inscriber because uh, you always need uh, a lot of inscriber. And yeah, first of all, let's get started with Applied Energistics 2. First of all, you need an energy acceptor and some kind of energy. Uh, the energy acceptor accepts, like the name tells you, all kind of different energy, for example, EU. Then you need a cable and an ME controller. So basic Applied Energistics, there are four types of cable in Applied Energistics 2. Uh, this is important, it's applied energy 6.2. There's a glass cable, you don't need this. Uh, there's a dense cable, a covered cable and a smart cable. The glass cable is only about um, transferring energy, but uh, yeah, I think you won't need it very often. Yeah, one thing that changed is um, the thing about the channels. So on every side of the controller you can output eight channels and eight channels do mean that you can, well, um, have eight types of applied energistics machines for example or interfaces or whatever and only eight because it's like a data link and you only got eight links and uh, yeah with the dense cable you can enhance this a bit because a dense cable um, is capable of handling 32 channels so every side of the controller can handle 32 channels and yeah you can have a, a smart cable from the dense cable apart so you can multiply these channels. Again, you can have multiple controllers of course. This is a multi-block uh, block structure then and uh, so you can enhance your your channel. So channel management is, uh, is a big deal in Applied Energistics too. So yeah, be aware of and the smart cables are showing you the used channels. This, uh, this is very um, yeah nice to have. Yeah, and first of all, we need some kind of storage device. We're using an ME drive with an ME storage cell, which was already here in Applied Energistics 1. You just uh, put them there. And yeah, which, what's new is the terminals, um, they look um, yeah different and I think very nice. And uh, yeah, we got our inventory there. And uh, yeah, I'm just putting some things in there and you see on the ME drive, um, yeah, we got some bytes used and types used, so you can fill them up like Applied Energistics 1 and have already your, um, yeah, some kind of storage system. And there you see, we're already using up two uh, channels, two of eight, because we got the ME drive and the uh, thing next to the ME drive, the pattern thing. And um, yeah, the smart cable tells you how many channels you're using and the normal covered cable uh, does not. It, it's also capable of handling eight channels, but uh, does not show um, does not show how many channels are being used at the time. And sometimes, well, um, the machine is not working, and you don't know why. So you should use uh, sometimes uh, the smart cables. Yeah, this one is the molecular uh, transformer assembler. Oh, I was too fast now. Um, well, this is the basic crafting unit, the basic, basic thing you need for auto crafting. And the first one we're going to use is the crafting storage CPU, which is a crafting CPU. You don't need uh, these massive structures like an applied energistic one. You can have a multi-block structure too, but this, uh, this will be shown in another tutorial of mine. This is a fully functional auto crafting uh, set up um, and it's easy to start with. So to show you the, the channel thing is um, I'm going for some extra CPUs and now you see we got six of eight channels are being used at the moment and uh, there you see this is a multiplock structure and won't use any channels and uh, yeah we add one there we ha should have seven of eight yeah right. So um, yeah, let's get started with the inscribers. What are the inscribers? You always need these kind of processors, uh, which have been here in Applied Energistics 1. But uh, yeah, with Applied Energistics 2, you got two new uh, inscriber or two new processors. And there are four inscriber presses. These presses can only be found in certain chests around yeah, in your world. And um, they can't be crafted, so you you have to find all four of them because you need all four of them. And uh, yeah, just go for exploring. 
And yeah, these inscribers um, are yeah, producing these processes and for a fully automation, you need five inscribers and four on one side and uh, yeah, one on the other side. And you will see in a minute why I'm separating them. And uh, yeah, at the moment you see that no channels are being used because at the moment they are only giving energy and uh, they're doing nothing for applied energistics. So uh, no channel is being used. So every uh, inscriber uh, is getting now a, a press and uh, this engineering press is working with the diamond. The calculation press uh, is uh, working with a pure quartz crystal. Yeah, pure Sertus quartz crystal. The, which is next, the logic press is working with gold, with gold ingots. And the last one is the silicon press, which is working with silicon. Silicon, by the way, is made out of sand in a sag mold. So this one is now uh, a printed silicon. So you need, first of all, one of every type. This is very important. Yeah, you get all the different circuits, um, which result in different uh, processors. And yeah, these are the four you need. So in the other one, um, we are now producing our processors and it's working always like this. In the middle is always redstone and in the lower spot is always the silicon thing. The upper spot is uh, reserved for one of the three remaining uh, circuits, yeah, the logic circuits, uh, engineering and so on, calculation circuit. So you always um, have silicon in the lower spot and redstone in the middle spot. And now we are producing all the three processes because you have to produce them once um, to get your automation done. Uh, so this is not only to show you, but this is important to have your auto crafting. So now we get to our patterns uh, monitor and yeah, we need some patterns to have, uh, yeah, to save our recipes on, on the patterns. Yeah, blank patterns, here we go. And yeah, just put them in there and on the right side, yeah, you, you can have your crafting recipe, uh, for example. And on this side, you have your crafting pattern and you can change this by click by left clicking to processing pattern. And there we now tell the pattern that one gold results into one um, logic circuit. And um, yeah, the same we're doing for uh, the other things. The, uh, silicon is resulting in this uh, silicon circuit or how is it called? My inventory is kind of full, I'm sorry. And <clears throat> the last thing is the um, oh, the, the pure uh, Sertus quartz results in this thing and code. And the last thing is the diamond, which results in the engineering circuit. Here we go. By clicking shift, you will see which um, yeah, product uh, is, is in your recipe or is the outcome of your recipe. And now we need some ME interfaces. Um, these have to be or have to be at the back of the inscribers. This is very important because the back is yeah, presenting the middle spot and you need to have them on the back to, to get these presses or these circuits into the middle spot. We connect them with our um, smart cable and now you see we're using four channels we got because we got four yeah, items which are working with applied energistics. So we are using four channels at the moment. So now we have to uh, look up the interface and um, giving our recipes into the um, uh, interfaces. And yeah, this is the calculation. So the calculation recipe or pattern uh, printed calculation. Yeah, and the last one is the one with diamond. So now we are already um, auto crafting because we can say now, okay, uh, where well, we got some, st we have to have some stuff in our inventory. But now, okay, let's let's do ten of these uh, things there. Um, crafting CPU automatic means yes, uh, everything is okay. We got. Uh, 
50 bytes used this is already uh, this is a very small amount and there you see it's already getting crafted it stays at the moment in the machine because we do not import it at the moment but um, this is very easily changed because now we need our import buses which have to be at front of the machine already uh, also connected uh, to um, our system well we can use I can't cheat my uh, smart cables <laughs> so um, let's use normal cables doesn't matter yeah just connect them we need to, we're going for one smart cable and now you see another four channels are being used and here we are already full eight of eight channels so we can't do uh, or get there any other machine um, to this side we had uh, we have to use a dense cable for example to enhance this and uh, yeah as you can see now the items are getting yeah imported to our system uh, system so we are fully automatic uh, yeah and producing the circuits now fully automatically so now we need our processors yeah and we still uh, again need some patterns and we have to tell the system okay this logic processor needs one of the uh, logic circuits and yeah that's our next pattern and uh, yeah we do need this for all three processors and that's what I'm doing oh this was wrong um, diamond there and it's circuit there here we go three recipes or three patterns so now um, this works a bit different um, the interface this is wrong don't do the interface at the back because you need um, the um, things at the top um, space so uh, we need to put the interface right into the top because it's always the same procedure having the um, circuit at top redstone in middle and silicon at the lower spot so on top is the interface and we can put all three patterns in there because they're produced all the same at the back we are going now for an export bus because there's all there has to be always um, has to be um, redstone redstone dust so we connect this and say okay uh, just export redstone dust in there if we got some in our system let's check okay let's put some redstone in there here we go and now we should see that some redstone is already near if i'm taking one out another one is getting in so this is working fine always redstone in the middle section the same goes with the printed silicon in the lower uh, in the lower spot so we need to say to tell the system okay always export uh, silicon um, press or silicon i don't know what it's called exactly um, to the lower spot you see in a sec printed silicon and now there's an, an enhancement that you can use which is very nice there's a so-called crafting card you can put it in the right spot there and tell the system okay use the stocked items but if you do not have it on stock crafted on um, and we have uh, already a recipe for this so this is getting crafted after um, we ran out of stock and this is very nice very useful uh, and it's completely new to applied in logistics so nearly done uh, we have to connect um, this one the interface of course to the system and um, well we need of course an import bus in in the front to yeah get everything in our system and yeah this is nearly nearly finished um, you see all uh, a lot of channels being used at the moment so let's craft uh, uh, one of the processors let's say the diamond one and let's say okay we need 10 everything's okay start up and yeah one thing why it's not working is because you need to have some energy because the cables are not connected to the machine itself so they doesn't um, yeah transport energy so you have to have a cable connected directly to the machine and as you can see there's no silicon at the moment because it's getting crafted right away and we have to wait a bit and then you will see that the silicon is yeah uh, spawning there because uh, it has been crafted by another inscriber and uh, so you yeah you're more or less fully automated 
with uh, all the silicons and inscriber things, which is very, very nice and um, which helps you a lot. And you can start off right away with optimizing this. So another thing is um, I want to optimize the silicon producement because I hated that uh, you have to yeah, go with the silicon um, yeah, made by hand. So this is another cool thing to show you in Applied Energistics too, how to get uh, such things uh, automated. And yeah, I got a segmill, I got a creative cell, so this one got energy and yeah, I'm go going with my smart cable and an export bus and just on top and I tell the export bus, okay, export bus, export sand from my system. So sand is getting in there and silicon is getting produced. So far, so good. So, and, but then there's another thing called redstone card. And this is very nice. Also in Applied Energistics 2, uh, one in another way, we tell them, okay, be active without a signal. So without a redstone signal, um, the export bus will export sand to the segmal and silicon will be produced. So now we use a level emitter. The level emitter is capable of um, yeah, emitting a redstone signal or not compared to your stock levels. So we say emit um, redstone signal if we got more than 100 silicon in our system. So now it's on and uh, there won't be any export of sand because we told the system, the export bus, do not export if there is a redstone signal. So now let's enhance to 1000 and you saw that the redstone signal went off because we do not have enough silicon. So now the segmal gets sand because it's getting exported until uh, we reach the 1100 uh, silicon in our system. And uh, this is also very nice. You can have another export bus and for example, export flint to have a bigger chance of getting silicon, which is also very nice. And with this level emitter, you can be sure that you're never running out of, uh, of silicon. Uh, well, you have to have a source of uh, sand, for example, but um, mainly you're not running out of sand. And this is working very fine. And yeah, after we can change this again and say, okay, um, let's say 100 again, the red salt signal is on and you see it's on and you see um, it's getting, nothing is getting exported. It's, uh, it will always um, finish the things in the machine, but then it's over. So I thank you for watching, hoping that this was uh, quite helpful for you. And yeah, wish you a pleasant day, a pleasant week and see you next time. Servus guys.